Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day so far. I'm going to read you a story today about toucans. Another story about toucans because yesterday I read you a story about toucans, or it was not a story, it was actually a book. It was a non-fiction book about toucans. Today I'm going to read you a fiction story about a toucan. So before we do, let's review the different kinds of text. All right, we're going to do the nonfiction first because we read this one yesterday. So nonfiction books give us facts. We read um, nonfiction text for information. So facts and information, info is short for information. Um, nonfiction books have text features in them. So photographs, table of contents, glossary, maps. Those are all text features that we saw yesterday in this book about toucans. Um, you can read a nonfiction text in any order. So it doesn't have a beginning, a middle, and an end. You can read it in any order you want. So if you wanted to just read about what toucans eat, you can go to the table of contents, you can find that page, and you can just start reading there. You don't have to go in order. <clears throat> And we read nonfiction for learning, um, learning and enjoyment, because we had a really good time reading this book, and I love learning about toucans. So we read nonfiction for learning and enjoyment. So let's talk about fiction. Why do we read fiction books, and what is a fiction book? Um, this is a fiction story that I'm going to read you today. It's called Toucan Can. All right, Loopy, we got to read to the kids. Come on. Be nice and be patient. Come on. So fiction books um, are not real. Um, the characters are not real. Their characters are going to be doing things that are um, that a real character wouldn't do. And you're going to see that in our story today. Um, so fiction books have a beginning, a middle, and an end. There's an order to a, um, a story book that is fiction. It starts in the beginning and then something happens in the middle and then it has an ending. So you have to read it in order to understand what's going on. Um, fiction books have characters. Fiction books have a setting. That's where the story is happening. And we read fiction for enjoyment, okay? So today I'm gonna read you this story called Toucan Can by Julia McIver and Sarah Davis. Now I have to warn you, this book is full of rhymes and it's a lot of tongue twisters. So I'm gonna try my best to read this without getting my tongue all twisted up. Here we go. Two can can. Two can can do lots of things. Two can dances, two can sings. Okay, so can you already see the difference between the fiction and the nonfiction? Can a real toucan dance and sing? No, I have never seen a real toucan dance or sing. Toucans bang a frying pan. Can you do what toucan can? Toucan can do lots of things. Toucan slides and toucan swings. Toucan hides behind a fan. Can you do what toucan can? See him do the can-can too. Can you do the can-can too? Look now, Toucan has a plan with the fry pan and a stew pan. He can juggle one hand, two hand, while he can-cans on a fruit can. What can do that? Very few can. Surely, though, most surely you can. Can you guys do all of that? I don't, I can't. Can you, Luffy? Can you do all of that? That's a lot. But can two can do what you can? You can stomp and rump and hop. You can go and you can stop. See, two can stomp and rump and hop. And hop and trip and flip and flop. Poor two can. What you can, two can not. But who can do what kangaroo can? She can kung fu with two can. Can you do what kangaroo can? Can you do kung fu with two can? My goodness. 
You can do a new kung fu if two can 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 kangaroo. <laughs> two can has a friend or two. One is E1 and one is you. E1 loves to dance all day. Two can lets him lead the way. These are some crazy animals. <laughs> And you can dance in kangaroo can. You and E1 dance with two can. Yes, you can dance, but E1's ants cannot, cannot dance. His ants look really funny. I don't even know what kind of animal those are. Auntie Shanty can't at all, but Auntie Tanya's much too tall, but... Auntie Ann and Candy Can and Auntie Candy's Panda Can. With Auntie Amanda's Salamander, Sandy's Goose and Andy's Gander, and Aunt Samantha's Panthers Can. When they all dance with two can, who can? Who can dance with two can? Can you, LeBron? Can you dance with two can? You can. So can you guys dance? I'm sure you can. But can a toucan dance? I've never seen a real one. So this book is definitely a fiction book. I hope you enjoy this story. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to um, make two sides to the paper. So you can draw a line down the middle and I want you to number each side one, two, three, four, five. And then I want you to think of what we learned yesterday about real toucans. What were five things that a real toucan can do? And then on the other side, I want you to write five things that a toucan cannot do, all right? A real one. So think about what things you heard in the story that this fictional toucan was doing that toucans really can't do, all right? So five things a real toucan can do, five things a real toucan cannot. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye.